What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Happy Sunday, man. I was just like, wow, you know, college basketball going on right now. Let me go ahead and knock out this review for the Army. Also, hey, the Fighting Illini, Sweet 16. Again, Army, hey, I got to cheer for the home team. First time going to Sweet 16 since 2005 when they had my boy Darren Williams on the squad army. So, y'all already know, I want a line out of win, bro. I want a line out of win. Let me know in the comment section below what team you got your money on for March Madness. Who went in the tournament? Is your bracket jacked up, jacked up like that? I think they said there's no more perfect brackets. So, y'all let me know where y'all at with this NCAA tournament. Also, Army, let's get to 2,000 thumbs ups, Army. Come on, man. Let's get it, Army. I know we can do it, especially with the early reviews that I got coming for you guys. I got these right here. I'm going to hit y'all with these tomorrow. I kind of gave y'all a sneak peek on these, but I want to knock out this one right here first because when I posted them on my IG story, y'all flooded the IG DMs with, break. what's those? When them come out? What shoe is that? When them drop? Them dropping this year? So I just want to go ahead and give you guys the review on those. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up, Army. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. All that good stuff. Because, again, we've been going live. We've been tapping in. The live's been busting. Like, we went live for the Retro Nines yesterday. We talked about how Nike is changing up the sizing for the taller shoes, the gray school shoes. Like, when we tap in, we just talk about a lot of different topics. And I want everybody to be there for that. But let's go ahead and talk about these joints right here, Army. We got the Air Jordan 5 box. This is like the new fives. Like whenever you see the, the Flight Club box right here, you got the cement speckle going on with the box, and you got the sail colorway. We know pretty much how Jordan brand do with these boxes now. The predominant color of the shoe is pretty much the color of the box as well. Check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE. Whenever it's an SE, that means that price is going to increase, y'all. All right? Colorway is sail black, light, or wood brown. This is a size 9 in men. Check on these sneakerheads IG retail. is $210 on these, and these are dropping April 13th. So about a month early on these joints, Army. Do got the speckled paper in the box. And let's check... The Air Jordan 5 sales out, man, because y'all already know, man, when it comes to, like, certain shoes, we like to, you know, compare them to, like, an Off-White or a Travis, and I have seen a couple people like, oh, you know, they kind of give them Off-White vibes. Like, these don't give me Off-White vibes, but these ain't half bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm surprised that we getting these. I don't know who came up with these. I'm not terribly mad. I feel like they could have went a completely different direction with these and then they probably would have messed them up but the thing that i'm surprised about the most army is the fact that they went sale with a white midsole and black and i thought if anything like they would have gave us more like a lighter color to go with these sale joints and especially with them dropping the spring but they don't look bad even the laces that come in them the jordan lace lock with the lace holder like these joints is not bad i mean honestly they they not the material on these joints is soft too got like a new buck material on these man they clean again i'm just surprised that they went with black seeing how this is like a spring drop or they dropping in spring now where people will probably say oh it kind of give them like an off-white vibe is the tongue they kind of got that distressed exposed tongue you know like the spongy tongue that we will get on like an off-white or like a collab sneaker but even the quality on these, man, like A1 quality as well. I don't see like no crazy glue stains. And I just feel like whenever Jordan Brand give us a SE or a special project, you know, they definitely up the quality on you. But it's just like you're going to see that price increase. They're not going to give you a $200 retro file with this quality. You got to pay that extra $10 or that extra $25 to get a better quality. And I'm just like, if that's the case, you know, and I might just be speaking for myself, but if it's going to be an extra $10 just to get better quality, then just hit me with the 210 across the board. Hey, it shouldn't even be that. 
But I'm just saying, y'all going from $200 with less quality and then $210 with better quality or $215. Just, you know, just be consistent across the board, man. But overall, the Army, again, like, how y'all feel about these? It is a clean colorway. It's something different. It is something different. I feel like a lot of people would like these, especially, you know, it being an SE. Most of the SEs don't really sell out like that. I decided to go ahead and grab my Off-White Fives Army and... Like, again, as far as, like, the exposed tongue, that's pretty much the only thing that's giving me off-white vibes. Now, had they gave us the exposed around the, the collar, too, that would have been dope and low-key. The off-white vibes was... I feel like the off-white vibes don't really get talked about that much. It's like either people really rock with the ones or they really rock with the fours. Like, the twos and the... Especially the twos. We already know the twos don't get that much love. But even, like, the sale off-white vibes, like... I mean, a lot of people just don't talk about these, and maybe that's why they're trying to do the comparison between the two. Again, I don't see no crazy comparison with them, except just the exposed tongue and the thinner tongue that they hit us with on the Air Jordan 5 SEs. But just overall, though, again, I do like the color of the sale that they went with. I'm just kind of surprised with, like, this Oreo miso that they decided to throw on them and the black sock liner army but let's go ahead and jump on a turntable so i can give you guys an up close personal look at the air jordan 5 se sale and then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off all right army got the box on the turntable again we got that speckle box black jump man air jordan flight club logo right in the middle Check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE. Colorway is sail black, light, or wood brown. This is a size 9. Again, retail, according to Z Sneakerhead, is 210. And release date is April 13th. Check out, we got that speckled paper right inside the Smacking box. Smacking the joints on the turntable, Army. One thing I will say, these joints will be a lint magnet, yo. So make sure you got like a lint brush or something with you, man. If you do plan on wearing these, bro, because... Just the material that's on these will definitely attract like a lot of lint and a lot of particles, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the outsole. Outsole, we got that translucent sail outsole. We got that black jump man, light mirror so Oreo speckle on the Jordan shark teeth. We got our sail netting system on the side of these joints as well. Sail laces like these, honestly, not bad, man. You got your Orwood Brown. I was looking for like, where's the Orwood Brown? And I want to say it's right here with the exposed part of the tongue army. Black jump, man. And even the tongue is a different material. It's kind of like a canvas material that we got on the tongue. You got your new book on the upper of the sneaker. Nice. Nice. I, I mean, oh. I'm at the point now, Army, where I don't need every single retro that drops. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't mind passing up on a lot of these sneakers. These are clean, but to me, they just not a necessity, you know? And, again, a lot of people was comparing the off-whites to them. Once you put the off-whites to them, again, only thing that you will see that's the comparison is just the exposed behind the tongue. Everything else is, you know, is different. Go ahead and pull out a fresh bottle of the Rejuvenator Water and Stain Repeller Army. I done ran out of my last bottle, but go ahead and spray these joints six to eight inches apart. Army, especially with some joints like this, with that new buck, with this canvas on the tongue. Those who wear a lot of denim with their retros, the water and stain repellent will also protect the sneakers from the blue dye or the black dye from your jeans from bleeding on your sneakers. And again, this is not a rubber tongue. It has that canvas material, so that dye will get on those joints as well. But again, use a rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Spray it down. will protect the shoes from any water, dirt, mud, sludge, from damaging the sneakers, from getting on the sneakers, from spilling on the sneakers. It'll literally just drip off. And the link is in the description section below, Army. For rejuvenated to save that 10% off all rejuvenated product. You do got your black jump mans at the heel of the shoe, black sock liner, Behind the tongue, Air Jordan in black, and you can also see that exposed tongue as well. That's about it for these joints, Army. I'm going to go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360, and we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, now that you guys have seen the Air Jordan 5 sale, how do you feel about these joints? Are these a must cop for you? Again, these are scheduled to drop April 13th, and... 
I don't know, man. Again, retro fives, they always going on sale, especially when they more than $200. Like we seen what happened with the burgundy joints. We seen what happened with the UNC joint. Even though the UNCs did better than the burgundies, you know, but still, you know, being that more than $200 price tag, I feel like it do kind of like deter people from grabbing. And on top of that, I still feel like most people's priorities are the Air Jordan for military blues. But again, as far as just this shoe in Chicago, most mom and pop shops, they didn't get a lot of them. This is a SE. I don't know if every single store is gonna carry them, probably will. You know, the same stores that carried the UNCs and the Burgundies, if they did carry those, I'm sure they are gonna carry these as well. So again, let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 5 sales. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable, you got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Armor stands strong, like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones, and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yours old him first season. Them most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.